Today I'm going to show you how to train the whole back of your body. The extensors of your spine, your gluteus maximus, your hamstrings, and your calves. So we're going to combine the deadlift, stiff leg deadlift, and of course the warrior seat position. Deadlift is very simple. When performed only with your body weight, the resistance is almost negligible, so you can do this exercise forever. Make it a little bit more difficult. Try it on one leg. Okay, other side. You feel this more, especially in your hamstring. And if you do it for a while, you're going to feel it in your glutes. Stiff leg deadlift. If we were to do it on both legs, again the resistance is negligible, so we'll try it one leg at a time. Takes a lot of flexibility as well. Believe it or not, you also are developing your flexibility and strengthening your muscles in preparation for flexibility training with this exercise. You will also notice that one side most likely is going to be more flexible than the other. You're going to reach closer to the ground on one side than the other side. That's normal. Most people have that. We're going to also combine the deadlift with an exercise called Warrior Serene Yoga. Okay? So we're going to come down to a deadlift. Come up into the Warrior Serene. Back down. And up. One more time, deadlift, warrior sleep, back down, and up. Since you're training flexibility at the same time you're training strength, you're also working on balance, the next day soreness may be higher than you expect. So I would recommend to start with maybe 5 repetitions of each exercise, see how that goes, and then bring it up to 10, 15, 20, and so on.